Hello everyone and welcome to another match of the 2021 Rural Rivals World Championship. We got a Group B match for us today between Crudy and Taran. Uh, they are going to be starting in Mumbai in just a minute, which was uh, Taran's uh, Crudy's pick of course on the left. And then we are going to Bangkok, which is Taran's pick. Um, still <laughs> notable that uh, Taran has picked Bangkok for all seven of his group stage matches, which are already scheduled. So we got these two and after that we are going to have a random map three, which will not be Mumbai, will not be Bangkok, but one of the other 16 maps. Crudy has played one match and lost to Dakar. No shame in losing to the five-time uh, RR champion on console. And Terran also has one loss. And that was to Joe Baby Grabber, the second seed. So they are both hoping to get a win under their belts or some good points. And they are going to start in Mumbai right now. Vazir Kali, silen silenced SMG as Holy Man. Vanya Shah, next snap as Dancer. And Davu Drengen, explosion accident as the tailor. It's quite possibly one of the uh, easiest category of uh, Mumbai spins because the Maelstrom kill will be done in the first 30 seconds as uh, the Maelstrom and the Holy Man walk right next to each other. And for Vanya we have an X snap and for Dawood a explosion kill. Will not take long for either of them to get the first kill and uh, I think we are more than likely to see a finish in these 30 minutes. Players are very synced. Uh, KOing the Holy Man and the Maelstrom, hiding the Holy Man, at least on Crudy's side. Taran becomes the Holy Man for the first time on uh, Stadia. And he gets the kill right. Crudy is just a few seconds behind. Takes his time with uh, hiding this body and dragging to the container first. But 45 seconds in, both have their first kill. Both are two objectives down and two to go, which is Vanya and Dawood. So at this point, you can think about the other two targets and their disguises and the kill methods. For Vanya, of course, the kill method requires no item. However, for Davud, you would like a uh, propane flask, which you can uh, just uh, drop along with a breaching charge next to Davud and, and get the kill that way. Or there are uh, plenty of other uh, natural explosion types, but I think not really for these targets. So. Propane flask it is, and Crudy will enter the laundry area for the free dancer disguise. And Taran is opening this closed door above the tailor, and that is spotted by either civilian or the Queen's guards. So Taran will have to restart, and Crudy will have a two minute lead, who now has the dancer disguise. Still a few questions for Crudy, will he take the second disguise and bring it to the beach area? Or just places the brick into the forge, which is the most powerful strategy for Mumbai most likely. That will uh, trigger both uh, Davud and Vanya to leave their fortresses and meet in the middle in the beach house. Which is where Crudy is walking toward. Taran is having some issues with... Uh, with the second Maelstrom isolation. Worked well for the first time. We'll bump the Maelstrom a few more times so he doesn't get away while the Holy Man is doing other th kinds of distractions. I wonder if the fake crowd did something or panicking. Oh, and is that going to be a head turn for Crudy? Yes, I see on the replay now. So 2 minutes and 52 seconds into his run, he also has to restart. So this being a very, very straightforward spin, 
uh, it is more than expected these players to to rush to speed things up because they expect that their opponent does the same things because it really doesn't have any hard part in this spin and uh, we have seen one restart each Taran will keep bumping the maelstrom so, so he is the one behind Taran cornering the the holy man but instead but he's followed by a KO on the Maelstrom and uh, that is Green Gun still from him. We'll hide these bodies just to be safe and once again they are synced, just like four minutes ago. And then it's uh, the same journey for both of them. Where did Taran restart? Yeah, it was the it was near the Taylor and Crudy restarted in the laundry area or after the laundry area, as the dancer, he had a, a bad head turn, so they will be facing their challenges for the second time, and Taran replanned to have a lockpick, which is a good idea, we'll double check his condition probably, and with this fuse box, the tailor will make his way up to the upper floor, so Taran will have the second disguise as well, and uh, Crude is placing a propane, or, or bringing, bringing a propane and throwing it so that it leaks means that only one uh, bullet will be enough to make it explode or you can place a taser or any electromagnetic item like an EMP to explode it Lots of options for both of them at the moment, which this time which this guy has to go for and then to place the brick into the forge. Hi fingers. And Crudy will get the dancer disguise again. The free one. Taran feels ahead a tiny bit because he didn't get the propane in this run but uh, may just be aware that there's a propane really close by so no additional preparation needed but now what will he do? So I still think the, the best uh, solution now is to place the brick into the forge and then both targets will meet in the middle or they can be isolated on their way there And Crudy is now at the tailor's house and can he open the door? Yes, he can. What item does he have? A crowbar, which I think someone hears because it's louder than just a lockpick. But I don't see any issues at the moment, so Crudy will get the tailor disguise. While he is dancer, so that means that both of the remaining disguises are closer to the train right now. Uh, Taran will not be looking for the brick. Uh, he will infiltrate the penthouse and then the chain yard and that's a body shot on the lady who panics but doesn't compromise Taran. Still good to go on Taran's side but... Oh, so there is a couple of problems with this situation. The, the propane flask uh, won't be able to be carried this way. And Taran is not just trespassing, he has an illegal item on him, so he will be compromised and the, the suspicion meter is filled much, much quicker. Still good for the time being, but the gun will remain a problem and everyone will be an enforcer to him. And if only he knew, uh, if he's going to the penthouse, there is a propane flask right there. So this, this could be a problem and Taran is going to... No, he is spotted and compromised, so he has to restart. He's not considering restarting. He has to. Crude is transporting the disguises. 
Dancer and Taylor uh, near the metal workers area. Five minutes ahead of Tehran and firmly in the lead. And these aren't difficult kills remaining. One neck snap and one accident. But now we can see Crowdy approaching the forging pot and can change the smoke color now, which turns purple. Doesn't matter that this brick is red and has no purple in it. Any brick works, all of them you can buy. And as Diana said, Vanya and Davud are both heading towards the beach area near the slums. Rudy will have to wait a bit for Vanya to exit the train yard. And more importantly, the other three people, her entourage, will also, be ca will also have to be KO'd. More importantly, or probably most importantly of these four, uh, Rima has some weird behavior, so she should be the first one KO'd, and Crudy knows it. Silent attack on Rima. And then the two guards, hopefully no head turns. That's two, and that's three, which means Vanya will be free to eliminate it. Dancer next snap. They're doing fancy, fancy stuff. Body shotting the the guards, the checkpoint guards, and now he's trying to peek a Vanya, which seems to work seems to be working for the second time. No dancer disguise, but the isolated Vanya will be good use to him. And he keeps the green guns, no one spots that body, and in the foliage, she should be fine indefinitely. So, Grudy has one kill remaining, Davu Schengen. You can already see the leaking propane there. Which will be picked up again, and now the question remains, what item is the ideal one for this kill? It will be a micro taser. Which means, uh, ah, Crudy will be placing guns for the guards. So that only Davu dies to the explosion. Can do different options with different items for this skill. You can drop the propane flask with the breaching charge. You can uh, throw the flask and place an EMP device next to it, so Davut picks it up, and uh, consequently <laughs> he's the only one in range of that explosion. But we are going to see the micro taser approach, which is uh, the best advantage of which is that the micro taser isn't uh, visible, so you don't have to worry about someone picking it up from the floor, which happened at one of the previous Mumbai matches for an execution. It, the EMP was placed in a puddle, but the civilian picked it up. So, Crudy's heart is beating very fast before this last kill, I'm sure. And this might be the moment for Crudy. Explosion done. Davud is down, no one else is down. Green guns, and that is going to be a finish. Can't quite get to a uh, tuck tuck with no coins, but he will exit default, and Crudy will take his own map pick and the first map of this match. 
there's the finish and once we see the 5 star silent assassin rating should be no doubt that he kept his green guns and there's the win for Crudy which means we are going to Bangkok now and that will be at 18 past the hour Just doing some admin work in the background, verifying, verifying the second spin, setting it up to 18 past the hour, and now we are traveling to Bangkok, three and a bit minutes to go. I think we can take a quick look at the the group stage or or uh, this group in particular. See if I can uh, get group B up, and I think that works now. And I have to interact again. That's fine. So there's group B. Uh, the one featured by Ducker as first seed and Joe Baby Rebel as second seed, but is, it is led by Agent Mando at this point in time with 10 points and 2 wins. Joe also won both of his matches, presumably 4 2, that's why he has 8 points after 2 matches. Cobalt is on 7, but only won one of his matches so far, has played 3. Ducker is on a perfect 6 0, after playing one match, he's fourth. And then we have Chebiat on 3, Taran on 2, before his match, mind. Bad Games on 0 and Crudy on 0 after one match, after one sweep by Ducker, but uh, he has already guaranteed 2 points from this match, and 4 more to be picked up. So next up is Bangkok in 1.5 minutes. And then of course the question of that random map, not quite the decider, but it can sometimes decide the fate of a match. Will player A or player B win it, if uh, for example the score is tied after two maps, it's 2-2. Two to two. But we don't calculate in terms of wins, draws or losses, all we care about is the points scored across all the group stage. Whoever has the most amount of points after the end of group stage uh, will win the group, but the top four advances, top four advance from each group of eight. Thirty seconds, and as I said previously, it is a. Uh, not a meme, but it is a notable part of Group B that Tehran has picked Bangkok all seven times. And uh, the first of his match was against Joe, where Tehran won. Uh, does, uh, Joe ended up turning that match around, but uh, still some good signs for Tehran, who will face Grudy in this Bangkok spin. Jordan Cross, explosive weapon as hotel staff, Ken Morgan, pistol in suit. Another spin on the quicker side, one can be set up remotely. And uh, one is just a pistol, lots of options for that pistol, can be your silenced one or can be, fr uh, can be acquired from Ken's bodyguard. Only thing confirmed is a suit start. That is not 
ideal for crew and he is going to replan immediately from the coding crew to 47 suite the closest suite start to jordan and what i can imagine is uh, crew will infiltrate the recording studio peekaboo jordan and place a breaching charge next to him <laughs> almost couldn't hide the breaching charge in time remains unspotted and turn with a tiny lead body shotting the the groundskeepers crude will fire two shots so that they are distracted and another Terran body shot cannot tell you anything about the safety of that Terran gets spotted by Camerons though and turns that recording crew around who's panicking because of the body shots and Crudy couldn't close the door he meant to do that but uh, prompts are not 100% accurate so both of them will have to restart and Crudy is going to consider another replan emetic syringe will be swapped out and into a calmer Presumably for the latter to isolate can eventually. Taran likes his body shots and doesn't rip to this one either. But the recording crew can be difficult because panic spreads in difficult ways. We'll delete the or we'll shoot the camera so that he won't get recorded again. And Taran, with one distraction shot, can get this done. The door is closed to so Taran, will be the first to KO this recording crew. Oh, Crudy got some rouge going on by people outside and inside Neil's room. So his guns turn red irreversibly, and Crudy has to restart as well. So now Taran has a 55, 55 second lead. And Taran gets ready for a peekaboo. It's a short one, so Jordan will end up in a sort of public place. He will have to be dragged immediately after this KO. And he's, he is going to be dragged indeed. Behind this panel, maybe out in the balcony, which is safer. And with a breaching charge, that should be lethal whenever pressed. Another question remains is if uh, the recording crew can hear it, but I don't think that will be the case. The bitch in charge is far away from him and close enough to Jordan. Taran said they can't change out of suit. Because this will be needed for the Jordan kill. But what is the way to isolate? Can. Is he eyeing for the letter? I think so because he's spending a lot of time in this room. The main enforcer turns away, the other one can be dodged, but there's someone outside who got a big whoosh for the run. And the Canadian is out of this trespassing area, but still on the roof. Shooting the poor groundskeeper yet again. Luckily, he's still alive. And Taran is good to go now. So, Krudi got gets up to the recording floor as well. And we'll be attempting the same peekaboo as Taran, but could be a bit different. Oh, that's the very last minute. And maybe the shuffle to the left was also a bit late. We'll see if Jordan moves enough. He kind of does, but that might be a side KO. It doesn't, or it isn't, so it's not loud enough. But that breaching charge will be much closer to the recording crew. Fingers crossed that won't be heard at the exit. 
Terran gets lucky with the side kill and gets the other Hosa stuff down. So Terran has the disguise for the Jordan remote kill and then can be isolated as a hotel staff. But we'll see about the exact method. Turn stays hotel staff for the time being. He's now back to suit. And Crudy has more issues getting out of this room. And the Terran's lead is getting bigger and bigger. Now it's 4 minutes and 15 seconds. And one Jordan kill and of course, the suit has been reacquired for Terran. Terran has an emetic in mind. Important to note about Bangkok that uh, in the restaurant area, the closest place people will go to puke is from all places a bread basket. So that is in no way viable for isolation however if you decide that another person should be the first one made sick then that person will be will, will go to the bed basket and Turan is hoping to get an angle for ken as second seeker he has just enough whoosh so this is really tough perhaps outside around this area. Can will be working, but Terran has two seeker shots, but the first one hits, so that is good for Terran. And might be the decisive shot. He will walk all the way down to the basement's bathroom, and Terran will be uh, trespassing all the way down there, so he needs to find another way around. And in suit, there isn't a lot of places you can go. He'll be infiltrating from above, perhaps. Of course, with another body shot. Body shot count is up to 5, 6. He's not even going to go through that door first. He's going to be trespassing in the kitchen for some reason, just to dodge the security, for possibly. Terran is hesitating while he's just passing. It's not a good combination, and uh, it's it's not the best route for to get to Ken. But I think I think Taran wanted to isolate Otis, the bodyguard, so he won't be an issue later on. But he spent so much time here, and while he was getting the disguise, there is one NPC there who spotted the disguise change. Taran has to restart, and Crudy has to replan. Back to square one, with 21 minutes to go. But for, for strictly routing purposes, you would probably want to uh, walk along the waiter area and the in the river and uh, and down the basement through the security entrance or straight through the office I think around that time no more than one NPC should be in there so it's also possible to avoid trespassing so both players will be Preparing the peekaboo once again at around the minute mark. Crudy gets up at 52 seconds. See if he can get a sink like that. And uh, that is also 52 seconds for Taran. But just passing for Crudy, you have to wait until 55, 57 seconds. And we can see Taran with the same problem. They were both just a second or two too quick on initiating the peekaboo because that uh, recording crew turns around at 57, 58 seconds. Terran saves it, however, and gets the peekaboo on Jordan. A 
but can't get the silent KO and the run isn't 100% trip but I think there was no way to silently pacify Jordan. Lots of restarts here but only 10, 10 minutes down and 20 to go or 11 down and 19 to go to be exact. And this is uh, uh, not the longest spin. So they should have a good amount of tries remaining. I think I can estimate the finishing time around 4 to 8 minutes. It, uh, uh, with with uh, decent map knowledge, it, the, the routes itself, route itself shouldn't be much longer. But in a real-time in environment, it's possible to get caught up on something. So it's peak about time again and Crudy gets up to the floor just a bit too late and Jordan is now walking. And I think that has to be a restart, there is no reliable way to get Jordan once he's moving up. It's also possible to isolate him upstairs, it's an explosive kill. This takes a bit longer. It's interesting because he's, he would either take an extra minute or so isolating Jordan or can restart and lose his minute progress and that is a body found by jo uh, on Terran's side. It was either panic upstairs or uh, Terran taking a bit too long. It's quite unfortunate because both of them, Terran certainly, but I think Rudy too had the, the peekaboo down with Jordan set up with green guns, so they just has to do the same thing again. Not really worry about the rest of the spin just yet, so they need to autopilot through these first 90 seconds. Get out of the recording station or the, the floor. Back into non trespassing area, and I would have to agree with you, Soviet. I prefer peekabooing towards, towards the bathroom. No one really looks there towards that direction and there's a whole room you can hide Jordan in. It's my preferred method, e even if it may be a longer peekaboo and a tiny bit more dragging. Yeah, the extra couple of seconds worth it. So Crudy peekaboo is two people now, but no one goes for it. Jordan, another question mark. You can see someone walking upstairs after shooting the camera downstairs and now we can see the crew the people towards the <laughs> bathroom perfect timing and uh, even if Jordan doesn't end up in the bathroom like now you can absolutely KO him outside and uh, and drag him in or just another Throne distraction, which will only be heard by Jordan, or he's the only one close enough to react. And a bit of a roundabout way, Crudy gets the Jordan ISO. Staran will have to restart again. So, first green gun, Jordan isolation in a few minutes. And it's on Crudy's side to see what he does next. He will want to go through the same floor he came from, which means he has to wait for the recording crew to leave that balcony. Taran somehow keep his green guns after not one but two very close peekaboos. And Taran has to make the jump because someone is coming in. Not sure if uh, that briefcase is empty or something vital is in there. Hopefully he emptied it. Because he won't be getting that back. Taran with another 
peekaboo and Crudy gets this uh, gets the recording crew disguise leaves the piece uh, leaves the suit here upstairs but he absolutely has to get it later on Tarango Jordan down as well now and we'll uh, try to catch up on Crudy who really not sure if he has an advantage or not because the disguise is left upstairs and that will be a detour later on and it turns out you have to be in your suit to bring in the uh, room service today I learned so Crudy kind of stuck at the moment he's trying to get a hotel staff and the male one from somewhere, there is one, but it's kind of out in the open. Terran has made it to the floor below the recording crew. And and Crudy commerce that uh, that guy, but uh, is caught changing disguises, so that's a combat situation and another restart for Crudy. And Terran was also found trespassing in the hotel staff area below the recording crew. So now it's 12 minutes to go and Sing restarts. The last one was at 19 to go and at, at that point finish on both sides seemed very likely. Now I think the tie possibilities are increasing slowly. 30 minutes are quite slow or quite little low. Ties are looming on these kinds of maps. Bangkok probably consider the longest hardest to target map or maybe scale would be another popular choice for that one for that title so this this might be claiming a tie in 11 and a half minutes but Terran has around going 50 seconds in starts to climb up the pipe going into the recording uh, suit the it's either the queen or the emperor suit i think the emperor is the one for jordan and the queen we'll need to check into the queen suite or can uh, can to the queen and Terran is missing the peekaboo again so it just restarts back and forth Oh no way, I read around the world, around the world of roulette that <laughs> Curry is admitting the other match at the same time uh, between Fusk and Max Masters and his internet went out while trying to admin and cast so it's unlucky timing for him they are in map number 3 should be, did it on Creek the last one we are in map number 2 here after Mumbai, in Bangkok, and before that, secret, secret, decider, non-decider, RNG map. But it's certain that we are going to play all three maps in all of the group stage matches. Hey Mando, welcome to the match of your group. Crew DVD lead after Mumbai, and uh, this one is inching towards the tie. But uh, still, still have a, a try or two on this uh, shorter kind of spin, and uh, that's a that's a good term. Needing no restart time, which would be a moment in time after which only no restarts can finish a spin. Doing good here. 
casting another match. I think uh, you also had one earlier today with the 4-2 win. Because I saw that you were up to 10 points now after a 6-0 sweep on your first one, which was very impressive. And uh, yeah, currently I'm casting alone. Uh, we had a we had an agreement with Curry that whoever finishes first, uh, uh, if he feels up for it, then joins the other one for the rest of the spin, rest of the match. Uh, Curry is in the third map in Fusk versus uh, Max Masters, and we are eight and a half minutes away from the third one. So what would be a detailed description of, of an ideal run here? The, the suit start, uh, the peekaboo on Jordan was done perfectly by both of them. Then somehow get out of the trespassing area, which might be through the recording crew, might be through the, the floor below, but if you are out and down by 2 minutes 20-ish then uh, it just lines up so f perfectly to get a hotel star disguise and uh, and just uh, lure him into the bathroom because that's an ex escorting type of mission story he will follow you he will follow you anywhere and uh, yeah Soviet and Danny would do the same so if you can initiate that at uh, the low 3 minute mark and then you get the isolation by 4 and then just transport the suit back to that bathroom and of course the Jordan kill is done in the meantime since uh, you have a hotel staff and a detonator in your hand that won't be an issue after the Jordan peekaboo but for different reasons, this isn't really working out for these two players and getting close to that one point each crew, they once again get spotted. So I think at 6 minutes and 25 seconds to go, this is the last try for both of them. So we'll see about that one. And Mendo has a good question, if he there's a waiting list for emergency cast uh, there is not there, there was an actually a uh, emergency cast on the other hand when when Jotes a long long time member of the community uh, popped up at the minute after the last minute to 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 cast the match and he was given assets for the the, the way I suggest applying for shoutcasters or even emergency casters is uh, well I guess I could say that it's an application letter to, to GK Punk, the admin uh, specialized in these kind of situations. GK Punk will let you know uh, if there's a place and, and what can you do to get one, get one role. So Krudi has accepted his fate that uh, he will earn no more than one point in Bangkok and he's going to get some steam off before that third map and Taran I think this is the last deciding moment for him if he can get a green gun seeker shot on Ken he does and that means uh, Ken will be isolated and potentially killed in the next two minutes which leaves two more minutes for Jordan S might be a stretch but still possible and I'm going to turn off the alarms and unfortunately Taran has a very tiny bit of noise so I think I, I'll end up with with Rudy's anyway oh that is much appreciated Mando Thank, thanks for that hopefully hopefully we won't have uh, many situations remaining where we are, we are too, too desperate of casters, but 
good one, good customers are always welcome. And uh, uh, Antinami has a good point because I've never seen Ken going this way. The the natural second spot for Ken was always the basement below the fumigators. And uh, for whatever reason, this is this is going to be an isolation for for Tehran. The only issue is no, I don't think uh, Ken's guard is a homing one. I think if if Ken is down, then his guard won't be an issue. And there's the kill for Tehran. I think it's the first gearing Ken killed today. And. Uh, if this is consistent, it is even better than the basement isolation. Then I believe uh, more planning is needed. Oh, Taran is making this very last second. I think someone will find the body. No, they will. The the hotel staff will stand outside the door. Thank God. Two minutes and fifty seconds to go, and Taran will have the disguise in a moment. But this is the one run where he didn't set up Jordan. And th there comes Ken's guard now. That is going to be a bit tricky. Some bumping will be needed. Oh, oh, he stops. And won't go any further. The disguise can be acquired, but what will be the deal with the other two people? I would maybe just leave them. And as this is the last run, Taran has to risk these. <laughs> These two will be perfectly fine, or potentially not. No, I can see now the lady leaving the room, so that won't be an issue. She might spot the cameras. Oh, that was really close. Oh, Taran with more, more chaos on his side. Now the body shot. And now this is the one run where he's compromised, and this will end Taran's last try. And end this Bangkok. It was a valiant effort, but ended up not working out, so that will be a tie. And while usually times timers are let run out until the last second, Crudy and Taran are now in talks that neither have finished, so in this case I am fine to force a tie or issue a draw. And uh, I can Finally, let you guys know that we are going to Santa Fortuna as the third map. Uh, I kind of called it a bit second too early, apologies for that, as the spin was still going. But we are going to Santa Fortuna, which was called by Taran before the match. So that is the third map. <laughs> it is really, it has all, it always has been. And uh, the conditions have been spun and uh, <laughs> always definitely angry, but uh, even more so my keyboard is a loud one. Nevertheless, uh, spin has been sent for verification to the other admins and uh, figuring it's a legal one, I will set up the spin to 51 past the hour. So that is under three minutes to go. Hi Pijero, why are you feeling bad for me? Maximum 30 more minutes of my life really. With some potentially good plays in the in the near future. <laughs> True, yeah. I was I was embracing the SF map three for the last hour anyway because I admins can see the last map once they are in the in the match screen, the admin screen. So I was getting ready for this to be a 
longer than usual match. Mumbai was very well done by Crudy, and Taran has some good. Taran also had some good plays, but uh, the Brick strategy was proven to be the quicker one, and Crudy had a very solid second try to get the first two points. <laughs> now that would be <laughs> that would be funny, PG. Uh, Berlin ca Berlin maps I'm trying to avoid, but it's really whatever is available or unavailable is I'll take. Berlin admining just needs that tiny extra bit of brain power to click those five agents each. Minute and 15 to go, so I'll show you the upcoming matches really shortly, what we have at the moment and in the near future. Of course this is quite long, but you can see the current match, Crudy vs Taran going into map 3. The other 21 CST match is also still going on, but nearing towards the end, I'm sure. Oh, it's map number 2 Whittleton, so... They are also waiting for a map number 3, then it's my apologies. Curry is casting that. Mikulers versus Rocky Horse will be starting in 10 minutes. I have seen some uh, asks for a tiny bit of delay. And then uh, that will be the end for this evening. A late night match between Derek and Meme Junkie at 2 a.m. Central European time. And then the next match will be after tomorrow. After after today, after the patch tomorrow, the Wrath update and the DLC will be added with some patch notes and something breaking the game, no doubt. Can't wait. Uh, Curry said he would be joining me after his match, so suppose this uh, suppose this Santa Fortuna takes longer than the other Dartmoor, then we'll be hearing from him and we don't have to trade one for one. Here is the third spin of this match. Rico Delgado, Barbara Razor mentioned stuff. Jorge Franco, Fall as he the Hippie. And Andrea Martinez, Pistol as Hippo Whisperer. There are no patch notes for this uh, release. I think those have been lately sent at noon, 1 p.m. Central European time on the day of the update, so just like an hour before the maintenance or at the start of maintenance. So excited to see what will be broken. Excited to see if either of these players can handle this RNG Santa Fortuna. What is more difficult than expecting a Santa Fortuna because at least you have the chance to practice in advance unlikely that either players did for this match only. Taran starts default, may pick up more items along the way as he's looking to the left. He, he went past his agency pickup, but not an issue just yet. And Crudy starts mention stuff and uh, runs through an enforcer, might be just be exploring the, the grounds. As mentioned stuff, you can get an isolation on Rico after 30 seconds uh, in the garage or the room adjacent to it. But he Cruz is not taking the direct route to there. There's also a barber razor uh, nearby. It is a floor above in Hector Delgado's bathroom. And you can see Cruz is right next to Rico. Misses the peekaboo, but can still throw an item here. Why am I pinged twice? Oh, it was still the... Uh, still the previous map, so no worries from my end. So, both are with their First isolations, Crudy isolates Rico and Taran chaos Andrea. And now Taran is going to go back for his agency pickup and potentially aiming at the mansion. Barber Razor mansion stuff is indeed a very mansion heavy kill for Rico, so Crudy isn't wrong for starting here. 
and we'll get the kill very soon. But Taran has the other two targets in mind. After a Andrea isolation, Jorge's disguise will be acquired, the hippie. Not through the door, but with a body shot, he's aiming with the pistol. And Crudy has just the unlucky timing of eliminating Rico when the other mansion guard comes in, who does from time to time, so that will be a restart for Crudy. But the the plan for Rico kill is almost done now. Just needs to KO one extra guard and he has the first kill down. this second try at uh, Rico throwing this direction gets him here only one in range Rico is almost too far away but he is still going to go for this one and Taran has the disguise now he had to KO both civilians but ends up with the disguise regardless. So that will be for Jorge. And the fall is... Uh, is a kill method which isn't valid for all approaches. If uh, someone wants to isolate Jorge in the heli pilot's hut near the heli exit, he will have a much harder time getting a fall than, for example, making Jorge sick and KOing him in uh, the toilet next to the piranhas. Terran left his agents to pick up in the village, so he's going back for it. And unfortunately for Crudy, he... I guess he was thinking that he was trespassing, which was true, he left the trespassing area, but the guard was still enforcing because he's a regular enforcer for the disguise. And once he left the room, spotted Crudy, who has to restart again. But despite the in-game time disadvantage for Crudy, it seems that uh, this Rico kill will, be able, will turn into an advantage later on. because this is just so efficient to get early on. But it is also true that Taran now has a almost 4 minute advantage. No kills down, however. And Fusk completes the sweep against Max Masters with a Dartmoor win, so... That is the end of one match. Another one will be starting soon enough between... Uh, I just sorry, can't remember anymore, but uh, can just check. I'll check it later, but uh, Crudy gets some unlucky view cones from the guards far away from this room. The corner subdue isn't 100% efficient or 100% consistent and we can see that Crudy has his run to that. So now Terran has a five, more than 5 minute advantage who drinks the coca field guard. Funnily enough, the hippie is not trespassing in this area because he's here for the cocaine business as well. And there's the raid from Curry. Good morning, script. Hi, Derek. And uh, surprise, surprise, Curry's cast finished ahead, finished first. <laughs> Which means that we are up to 47 viewers and 
uh, Curry can definitely join. Oh, the. I just I, I, I managed to join RR1 channel instead of Shoutcasters1, and it's going to say that you can join me, but I should join you instead. Here is Currymaker back on. Hello, hello. Thanks for having me for this uh, last map. Your match did not. I did not. Uh, our match did not finish uh, as early as we may have thought beforehand. Also, with me having internet issues again, but that's another story. Yeah, that's very unlucky timing. We, we still get 21 and a half minutes maximum from this match. Some good set of Fortuna you can experience as Taran tries to find the eliminate prompt and gets it, and the Jorge kill is down. Very nice. Just a very quick recap about the match so far. We started in Mumbai and Krudi got that spin done. Solid second try, seven minute ish in game time, so it was a quicker Mumbai than most. Took the first two points, then we went to Bangkok, which ended up in a tie. So Krudi has a 3-1 lead going into the random center for Tuna, in which Taran has a solid first or second run going, seven minutes in. Jorge down, Andrea isolated, and Rico is a kill where everything is inside the mansion, so we'll be interested to see how he handles it. Very nice. And yeah, the other match, if I really want to recap that, Fusk won all three maps, uh, consisting of... Uh, if I can even remember them at <laughs> this point, it I, I, I can't... Mendoza, Bitleton, and Doom, and the Dark Yes, War. exactly. Mendoza was the first one. Um, exactly, Whittleton Creek after that, which uh, got down to like five minutes. And, uh, but Fusk managed to take that. And then we have a new Dartmoor record, if I saw that correctly. Fusk beating wow. the current record by just a couple of seconds. Uh, so so I think the Dartmoor record is now sub two minutes. At last, it's sub two territory then. Yes, uh, the, everything going perfect spin basically. Par Private investigator as as SM, with SMG. Yeah, that's the, can't get much better than that. Of course, we know what's the ultimate spin. We'll be seeing anyway. sub twos in Santa Fortuna for sure. Taran <laughs> is hoping to get a sub twenty. No, that is a bit too excessive. But he he has a great run going. Eight and a half minutes in, isolating Rico now as well. I think who turned around because he saw a gun, maybe? He turned around for some reason, and the office was empty. But Taren can now KO Rico and will be seen immediately by the guard. Wow. Yeah, the guard came into the room and immediately spotted the dead body. No way for 47 to react in time there was just such a strange situation all around because I didn't see any question marks but people or Rico turning around and then the guard coming in also without a question mark and this could be very unlucky or some niche VI, uh, uh, NPC situation Ian yeah, will reset him entirely with a big rip after more than one third of the of the spin time in Santa Fortuna, which in a map like Santa Fortuna can uh, is definitely going to cost you, I think. Yeah, we had Bangkok and a quick spin at that, so we could see restart after restart, but the chance for a, a draw didn't increase for a while. But in Santa Fortuna, when your ideal run is trying to beat the ten minute mark, that leaves you with three full starts three full shots and one of which was uh, taken by Taran exactly just had a bit of an issue with the uh, peekaboo on Andrea but in the end managed to work it out Taran uh, just like last time started with the Andrea installation and I think he will continue with uh, the hippie disguise so that he can uh, kill Jorge first. Yeah, apart from that um, unlucky rip there at Rico, 
Looked like everything was going nicely for him. Ooh, but he gets spotted. Climbing into the the room here. Wow, I'm late. I'm very late. <laughs> are you are you very late behind? Yeah, I, I, I already saw that rip. <laughs> Maybe have a quick refresh of his uh Ah, uh, gotta love YouTube, but <laughs> let me refresh now, and uh, could you get the same treatment? Who will pop up next to the hut? Uh, fortunately for him, he didn't have to uh, be trespassing by guy get into this area. Unfortunately for him, he's still not trespassing, so he can't do a peekaboo here. So, curious to see how Crud will handle this ISO with now the helicopter pilot going outside. No a tricky situation here. Oh, here also seems to slowly lose interest in the hood here. Currently, he stay, still stays in there. And uh, what I said before you guys arrived is that uh, this spin can be made a lot easier if uh, Jorge is made sick because then she uh, then he pukes near the the river the lake the piranhas so easy push kill is doable from here I'm not seeing a good dragging options of course it's not far away but there are a couple roaming guards and NPCs who could spot Jorge's body and Froze is absolutely right. It can be made even easier if you just respawn the whole thing all together. Sprinkling some any anys. <laughs> any any roulette would definitely be interesting. Uh, maybe. For one match or something. <laughs> However, that's not what this tournament is about. Rudy trying to infiltrate the, the botany lab now. Of course it's the room farthest from from the lake, so as long as Jorge isn't KO'd here. Ah, oh, now I see what he's going for. It's going to destroy the flower, so... Ah. So Jorge goes to, to get one. And uh, we will enter a very interesting territory because you can make him fall in a lot of ways, but the, the current ruling only allows the dump or push eliminate ways. So hopefully he doesn't do the cutscene, hopefully he doesn't let uh, Jorge himself die. Going to be scary next couple of minutes for the admin. Hmm. Yeah. We can now enter the bottom lab with two more uh, lab workers inside, one of which will investigate that fuse box. I'm not sure where the body was dragged. I think I think that remains troublesome. I think mm -hmm. that will turn red very soon. And that is red just in time. Well, who, just how unlucky barely. for Crudy. Yep, barely missed it. Yeah, he can't. <laughs> this time I can't believe what was mm. happening. It is just such a, of course, hindsight 2020, but it is always just better to turn off something after you turned on and vice versa. So you don't accidentally lure a second person, unless you want, of course. But the uh, Grudy must feel gutted, really. And uh, he was vocal after. Uh, after his uh, Bangkok, but he's he's just taking a break right now, and he can still have one more good shot. To have and a half minutes to go is definitely enough for one finish. Indeed, however, I have to be fast about it. There is side Taran. 
definitely on the uh, working on the Jorge kill. And the hippie is also secret. Um, cool, you know how you were suggesting earlier. And Taran finds the angle, finds the spot eventually. It was a bit scary and used his yeah. last seeker shot, I believe. Not very possible. I think he has another trank dart, but no more seekers, I think. Yeah. Sure. And now a KO on Jorge will make the two personal guards go away, shuffle back and forth, and Terran can jack him just like last time to the voters. I'm gonna search for the prompt there. There it is. Yeah. I would be in a horrible situation if Jorge died. A pixel perfect before he was dumped <laughs> and there's a lot of annoying edge cases for this but Jorge's fall kill is now once again finished for Taran it's better timing I think because he was like seven eight minutes into his run when he approached the mansion last time and now he's at six minutes and he did he already isolated Andrea at the start didn't he yes with the uh, peekaboo Everything worked out, so probably the remainder of the spin would be done close to or near the hippo enclosure, so that is where Taran would get the last needed disguise, the Whisperer. Couple mention stuff survivable around there, but it is now a bit difficult for Taran because he shot the camera twice, panicking those two guards and Taran only has one trank and will be trespassing in there if not hostile I believe it's the latter yeah possibly uh, the drug lord wouldn't want any wild hippies on their grounds <laughs> I believe Taran is happy to trank one and get the disguise so that he's not trespassing anymore and Works out nicely. One enforcer to the right, but that it will be dodged as well. And Taran has access to the mansion. Needs to stay patient here, because those two will turn around any moment now. Indeed. Try to, try to fit through the small gap between the uh, plant pot and the, the bushes there, but he's um, flexible enough. Okay. Sneaked past them, even very little amount of whoosh, so it's fine for him. And Taran with the crucial office isolation again, getting this guy away, and then Rico, and then probably one more in the mix. But after that, the Razor and the Mansion stuff wouldn't be hard to get. And then it's free to go to the Hippo Whisperer. Taran can definitely finish this in the next eight and a half minutes. And Krudi will be hoping to get his two kills down as well. We can see it again. Uh, Rico turning around, but not for a gun. Or is... Yeah, he saw the gun. I think he's talking to a... Guard, oh, and that's possibly why this guard was coming in. That he's the one grabbing the weapon now that Riku saw. Yeah, but after this KO, I don't think anyone else should come in here. That's now... Yep. So many people dis dispatched off. <laughs> it's just a party in, in Riku's room here. Just needs to drag them around so Terran can leave the room and and get the mansion stuff. I uh, think, think that's the best idea to body shot. Thankfully he doesn't. He only bullet these tracks and uh, can get the mansion stuff from a lot of places. Probably downstairs would be preferred but Terran goes for the barber razor first. 
He's also just casually discovering uh, Santa Fortuna while he's at it. Yeah. It, it may be his first time in Santa Fortuna, it may be not, but uh, it, it's worth uh, noting that he changed to Stadia uh, not long ago, so... Ah. It's definitely a possibility then. Let's just... Oh, I think, I think he actually posted a, a picture in Discord earlier um, showing on the, the campaign screen where it, it gave him the little warning saying like, um, you should complete Mumbai before playing Santa Fortuna. Is that how it works? Oh, well, it was the That's other way around it. because when oh, he was the other way entering yeah, Mumbai, this, this picture showed up. And uh, he did say, imagine if after all this, uh, he gets to play Santa Fortuna again. At that point, I had nothing to say to him. <laughs> So Taran got the Barber Razor, but wants to go back. Did he get it, though? I'm, oh, I'm not actually maybe not Maybe I just sure assumed, if... because he, he he ran around the room. Yes, I, th I think he was a bit confused to where it was. Then in um, doubt, hit maps it. I think he is hit map. Yeah, there it is. Now found oh, he got it. it. Was picking up some key earlier, which he might have... Uh, Confused for the Barber Razor. Anyway, he got it now, now just needs the Mansion Staff. In Intel item, always useful to get. Keys and whatnot. Crude is yes. going, trying the isolation on Jorge again in the hut. <laughs> but, but he just can't, he... He, he so wishes to have a trespass in disguise, but the hippie isn't one. Terence struggling to get this mansion staff. The door is closing at the right at the wrong moment. No. So he lost his fish there, I think. <laughs> you can see it lying below the. Foxy and Eli in tears after no fish launch. Ooh, just that's gonna... risky. Yeah, that's risky, especially with only four minutes left on the spin timer. Oh, but looks to be fine. Yep, that's him dumped. Ooh, close Ooh. one. And that will be a Rico kill in about 20 seconds, leaving four minutes for Andrea, but it's more like one disguise. And then the evidence box needs to be deleted, but that can Ooh, also be awesome. done at Andrea's. So Taran with still a shot. Crudy making Jorge sick. The best I can see is uh, it's a nice, it's a kill in the next 90 seconds. Just two and a half remaining for Andrea, and we don't know about her cycles. Crudy. Crudy's odds aren't favoring a finish, or a finish isn't favored for him anymore. Taran can definitely get this done with second kill down and Andrea to go. Hippo Whisperer needs to be acquired now. Let's hope he's the Hippo Whisperer is on a good cycle uh, for Taran here on oh, this. That's another um, thing that might get in his way. Enforcers have to be dodged, but he will now reach the Hippo enclosure and so the Whisperer is now outside. Taran will just go for it. So, and oh, the and guard just minutes. turns around. Who was wow. taking, I guess, some leak or something and, and had to turn around at that point and Taran's run is over. And he will not win this match with less than three minutes to go. Crudy with the second kill down. But Andrea is nowhere near isolated and Crudy will be trespassing here, more like hostile area. Pistol as Hippo Whisperer. It's technically long range possibility. Yeah, like it's not impossible for, for Crudy to get this now. He has to be really fast about this though. Like, everything has to work out for him that he can get this. Um, 
not saying it's impossible, but it is unlikely. He he can barely stop at this point. If cycles yeah. don't work, then bullet distract and KO. He knows that he has nothing else. Nothing else to lose. He just has to go for it. But this is a very well, awkward I mean, position. Technically, he doesn't know that he has nothing to lose here. Terran might be finishing for him anytime soon. So every wasted second is also... Yeah, yeah but, but your point, from your yeah, point of view, you either finish and get very likely two points or not finish and get very likely one point. So, but there is always some, uh, some questions and uh, 90 seconds for Krudy, I think it takes... I think it takes 70 to get to Andrea. It, uh, if, it was, if it was Silent Sniper, then you, you could slow down time and aim correctly. Andrea might very well be in the town. It's, uh, it would be nice to just like shoot her and then exit, disregarding SA. Yeah. Because no. I don't it, think it's going to take, need to like, need 90 seconds to run to Andrea. This would need a trank glitch, which, <laughs> which I would notice, I think, if I pay enough attention. Maybe his yeah. stream delay is two minutes. I, you're right, I think I should check the page, but I don't think it's going to happen. 45 seconds to go. Andrea is in front of Crudy, who's walking upstairs. This will be a perfect timing for Peekaboo, but only oh my God. like... A minute oh, late, what? but I think that's a KO body found by Yeah, Kudy. that's red guns for him anyways. By a mansion wow. guard for some reason. And the last kill is done by Crudy, nowhere near correct. I'm not going to be messaging about him about that. 11 seconds to go and this is going well, to I be mean, a draw. Kill was correct from, from Crudy here, just like... <laughs> oh, but, <laughs> true, true, just not essay. Not sure what's yep. the rule about that one, but I know the rule about this one is that it's another tie and Crudy wins the match 4 to 2. Whew. What an ending. For a match that had two consecutive ties, this was extremely entertaining and I hope they both had fun with it. I think it it's not... I won't be really happy about... Uh, <laughs> Not finishing, but uh, yeah, I guess both of them had their uh, the, the possibility to win. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, wonder if needs needs a refresh. No, Crude went up to four points, and Taran also to four. Mendo is still leading this group with ten points. Joe on eight. Cobalt and Ducker are currently the other two advancing, but lots, lots more matches to go. Could you also quickly show Group G since I didn't have the time to do that after my uh, my cast? Sure, we're technically also on a timer and about to raid Chris, but I think we have one more minute to do so because they just started. Group G's, uh, you can run it down if you can see the picture. Yes, sure. Uh, after Fusk's very good win there, he's now at 11 points leading the group with 100% win rate after two matches. After that, Jotes, 7 points, Brain Fixer, 6, Rommel, 4, Script, 1, and Barbecue and Max Masters. Both still on zero points, however, Bar uh, Max Masters also has already played two matches. So he definitely has some catching up to do if he wants to advance to the knockout stage here. And as Chet is saying to us right now, uh, thanks for running Group G down. <laughs> uh, we do have more matches. I think we have one for the evening and one for the night. Uh, Nikulers and Rocky Horse are now playing. In Mumbai and Dartmoor, casted by Chris Xy, and then, oh, Foxy and Papa Levy also has one, uh, which is going to start in one and a half hours. But uh, yeah, let's continue the, yes. It's at zero o'clock and one minute, the match. That's oddly specific. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know which match this is, Foxy Eli. It's the conclusion ah, of the fish launch match. Uh, the two true. Miamis will be finishing with a map three. Exactly. So Fox's PS is now working and I uh, just want to say that uh, then let's uh, continue the stream of roulette matches for the day. Uh, thank you for joining me for the last match, Curry. No, always welcome. Thanks for having me. 
uh, anytime. Thank you everyone for watching and GG's to Crudy and Taran and uh, see you guys in the next match. Bye!